Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead, an adventure game from Telltale Games. We're stuck in this, um, this store here in Macon, and, um, yeah. It's not we damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. And the reason he's uh, glad, uh, well, I mean, we are glad that this place didn't get looted, because this is actually our parents' store, which will become obvious very quickly. If it's not already. Um, we are looking for uh, nitroglycerin pills for that little, I mean, old bastard. I mean, he was trigger happy like hell. Take energy bar. Can I have something to eat? You know, energy bar. Everything your uh, body needs. <laughs> All the vitamins and health. Well, let's get that as well. Let's talk to these guys. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. Yeah, who started it? What's wrong with you? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. Yeah, that's right. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was that one? You know, why don't I get those one, two, three numbers, I mean keys, like I did in the beginning? And I can't select anything with a mouse either, so, oh well. Was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Great. So, our parents are dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Alright. Uh, this is closed, right? Alive inside. Oh. <clears throat> Not anymore. Oh, wait. I didn't want to go there yet. Ah, oh, damn it. That is very bloody. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, damn. Okay, let's go back. We'll we'll get back here in just a second. All right. So, uh, what do we have here? Another energy bar, w which we can take, and then be a good Samaritan. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's all melted now. 
Oh no, melted ice cream. Hey Lee, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah, we got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me, I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. See, that's the problem, I mean, it said in the, in the previous part that we didn't support Kenny. And that might come back to haunt us, but I just hope the game realizes that in the end we did support him. So, I don't know, we'll see. I was stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Her family is dead. Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan, then? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? No, they're gone. They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment... When things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Excellent. Kenny shall remember our loyalty unto death. Which is probably always near in a zombie apocalypse. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Damn it. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, not yet though. <clears throat> let's, uh... Wait, where's Duck now? Okay, let's, uh, give... Let's talk to Clementine. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Okay, let's give her a, uh... Okay, we should get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, <laughs> despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. All right, so okay. let's let's give her the energy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Now our inventory is on the left here, as you can see. We've got two energy bars. We can give another one to... Uh, to duck. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. 
And I guess we can give it one to the nasty old man. Or to Lily. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, we have more stuff to do here. There's one really kind of stupid thing here. Uh, you will see in a bit. Uh, a newspaper? Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. That's for sure. Carly. Well, you're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to watch people getting e eaten. That guy saved that you? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, <laughs> nothing. How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Alright, so this is the really stupid part now. Okay. So, we can, you know, we can uh, turn the volume. Nothing. We can press the power button. Nope. <sighs> Nothing. And we can turn it around. And, ta-da! Now... There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> I mean, come on, okay. It's a quest, but that was really stupid. Who in, in today's world wouldn't know what batteries are? I mean, I guess some kind of a completely, totally isolated tribe somewhere on Earth? I, uh, The IT guy. I mean, you can't really say that someone is so used to completely, absolutely modern technology that they don't know that old radios used little batteries. I mean, even new radios can use batteries or accumulators or whatever. But <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> right. Talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah, let's let's have a nice uh, look so, around. Uh, let's <laughs> go have a look around. You know, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. The apocalyptic vista is always nice to look at. Yep, there's a lot. And they're right. Ugh. Who the heck is that? They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. No kidding. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. All right, so let's look around a little. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Well, we still seem to have electricity, so that's something. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Wonderful. Well, they've decomposed rather quickly, that's for sure. It's a combination lock. 
Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Uh, there's a boarded up window. That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Let's talk to him before we uh, look at the trapped walker. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Tim. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. <laughs> right. Let's talk to him again. Oh, there's a brick here. Can't reach that brick. <clears throat> How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Yeah, I want to know more. Do you think we're safe here? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Alright, so let's look at the uh, trapped walker. Look at the one trapped door. Better hear us, huh? Uh-oh. That's our brother. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Uh-oh. That means we'll have to kill him. No. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up. Shut up, dog. <laughs> exactly. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, what do you mean? We already know he works here. Oh, wait. Actually, uh... Let's head back inside. Okay. I think there's a picture of him in the office, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so... Let's go back to uh, the office. And we'll do more stuff there. There's a food box here. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm. Would have helped. Okay, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll try to uh, do something about those keys next time. Bye-bye.